Greetings and thank you so much for joining with us throughout this week. We've been talking about overcoming wrong thoughts and I've been sharing different pieces of information or insights from God's Word that will help us make sure that our, the thoughts in our mind stays aligned to the Word of God, to the ways and thoughts of God. God has said in His Word, He said, my ways and my thoughts are higher than your ways and your thoughts. And so we need to renew our mind, reprogram our mind, or uh, fill our mind with God's Word so that we can now begin to think aligned to the ways and thoughts of God. And one last insight here this week on overcoming wrong thoughts is to be careful what we feed our mind with. God's given us our mind and we need to use it. And uh, depending on what area of work you are, you have to train yourself, train your mind uh, to engage with information, to engage with knowledge um, uh, in that particular area where you are working. And then of course, there is all the other general information like news and other things that you know we, we consume, we put into our minds. But what I want us to be careful of and be watchful of is what you actually feed your mind with. Feed your mind with good things. Feed your mind with the Word of God. Feed your mind with good, intelligent, thoughtful, useful things. Maybe depending on your work and what you do, you're learning some new things. Those are all good things. You're keeping your mind educated. You're keeping your mind active. Uh, you're keeping your mind thinking about good things, productive things, and so on and so forth. But don't feed your mind with garbage. Don't feed your mind with the wrong thought. Don't feed your mind with what scoffers and uh, people speak. Sometimes people come to you with gossip. People come to you with, you know, backbiting, with uh, wrong thoughts about other people, uh, defaming other people. Uh, or, you know, you just cut that off. You are the gatekeeper of your own mind. The one person who has control over your mind is you. And so you determine what comes in, what you feed your mind with. You be a gatekeeper, a watchman, a security guard over your own mind. And for the things that are wrong, you say, no, I'm not interested. I'm not giving it any place in my mind. The Bible says, 1 Thessalonians 5.22, stay away from all appearance of evil. It means you decide that you're going to stay away from all these things. You do not sit with the scornful along with them listening to their conversation. Stay away from it. You don't want to participate in it. You don't want to feed your mind with it. So remember, this last insight. You are the gatekeeper of your mind. If you put garbage in, you're going to get garbage up. But you feed your mind with good things, godly things, useful things, productive things, constructive things, intelligent things. Feed your mind with that and you'll have good things coming out of your mind. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the power of your word, for the truth of your spirit. Help us take charge, take control of our mind to make sure that every thought, reasoning, argument, reasoning, imagination in our minds is kept subject to Jesus Christ. That our minds stay holy ground and we're able to think aligned to your ways and your thoughts. Help us to do this in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.